good evening. Good evening, class. Welcome. Do you listen to me? Hello, good evening. Do you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Ah, okay. So you listen to me because I'm testing my sound. I'm going to do it again, okay? Okay. Hello, hello. Do you listen to me? Hello, class. Hello. Okay. Do you listen to me clearly? Me escuchan? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, great. Yes, yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Well, class, welcome. Thank you for being my early birds, okay? Welcome to this new adventure. My name is Irma Carballo, and I'm going to be your facilitator in this module number five. I am so happy that all of you are here. Okay, and tomorrow no classes, right? Because we have a holiday. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it for a while. Okay, okay class, and now do you listen? Mm. Hi, yes. yes. Me escuchan, sí. Sí me escuchan? Yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Hola. Hoy un poquito raro, me bajó. Ah, permítanme, vamos a verificar el, el, el volumen. En now, porque ahora lo tengo al 100%, el, el, el audífono. Pero si ¿sí me escuchan. Yes. I did to you very well. Ok, excellent. Perfect. Ok, excellent. Thank you. That is why we enter a few minutes before, ok, to test all the devices. And as I was telling you, class, my name is Irma Carballo, and I am so glad that all of you are here. Okay, uh, I have a question for you, people. All of you were together in the previous level? Are you, were you in the same group? Todos ustedes estaban en el mismo grupo, en el nivel four. Just a few. Okay, so there's a mixture over here. Hay una mezcla entonces de dos grupos quizá. Okay, very well. We're going to, uh, okay, to meet one another today. Okay, and exactly in one minute, we're going to get started because there are many things to do. Okay, so tell me class, uh, who is working tomorrow? ¿Quién va a trabajar mañana? from the people in here. Are you working tomorrow or no? You are on holiday. Okay, uh, Claudia says she's on holiday. Atilio says he is on holiday. And what about Sandra Leticia? Are you working tomorrow or are you going to be on holiday? Sandra Leticia, hello. Hello, Sandra. Hello. Are you working tomorrow or? Yes. No, 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 holiday. Oh, congratulations. Yes. Excellent, Miss. Very well. And what about Pablo Albert, Adalberto? Are you working tomorrow, Pablo, or are you on holiday tomorrow? I'm on holiday. Excellent. Congrats. Tony Elias, Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Are you working tomorrow or are you on holiday? I'm going to take a vacation. Excellent, fabulous. All of you probably are going to be on a holiday. And Joshua Garcia, Josue Garcia, are you working tomorrow or are you having a holiday? It's a holiday. Congrats, excellent. Miss Carla Sofia Chévez, are you having a holiday Hi. tomorrow or are you working? I need. I'm working. <laughs> oh, so sad. But do you receive yes. double payment? Double payment? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. M making money. Excellent. Marina Jansi Sandoval. Marina, are you working tomorrow? 
holidays. Excellent, congrats. And Concepcion Marina Benavides. Concepcion, are you working tomorrow or is it a holiday? Holiday. Excellent, congrats. And Darío, Mr. Darío Alvarenga, are you having a holiday tomorrow or? I will, I will be on a holiday tomorrow. Excellent, congratulations class. That's it, okay? So tomorrow probably some of you are going to wake up a little bit late, yes? Are you traveling to, to another department or municipality? Or are you going to stay in your house, in your neighborhood? Are you traveling tomorrow to any place, to the cemetery? I will be traveling tomorrow to Cojutepeque. Oh, but that's a nice place, very fresh. Excellent. Hello, Mr. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Welcome to the group. Uh, hello. Are you, hello, good evening. Are you working tomorrow or are you having a holiday? Uh, holiday. Excellent. I'm having a holiday. Great. Congratulations. Okay, class, we're going to get started because it is the time. Probably some of your partners are going to be joining later on. But by now, let's get started. As I told you at the beginning, I am so glad that all of you are here. And uh, listen, if there is something that you don't understand or... If by any reason I am speaking too fast, you tell me, teacher, slow down, okay? Or teacher, I don't understand. You let me know, and I'm going to take your words seriously. And here we go. Okay, all of you have downloaded the manual, yes? Yes? ¿Ya va a descargar el manual? Not yet. Um, oh, my In God. <laughs> In a few moments. Okay, no. in a few minutes, excellent. And are all of you in the WhatsApp group? Oh, no, I don't. You're not, I why not, that. why I not? Huh? I forgot. I forgot. You forgot, <laughs> but you have to because it is very important, okay? So please do it during the class or after the class, okay? Because it is our communications mix. And here we go. I'm going to start by sharing my PPT, okay? And also, if there is a moment in which I believe that I am sharing my screen, but I am not, because sometimes we just hear share and we believe we are sharing but we are not you tell me teacher we don't see your screen okay si en algún momento yo creo que les estoy compartiendo pero no les estoy compartiendo solo lo estoy viendo acá por favor me dicen teacher we don't see your screen okay and also for the audio here we go okay class so too many things over here Okay, here we go. This is the one. This is yours. Teacher. Yes, sir. Tell me. Where is the manual? Hello? Where is the manual? It is in the platform. En la plataforma de aprendizaje está. Mm. Okay. Okay, lo voy a buscar. Okay. Let me see if I can log in so I can share with you. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I had it ready. Okay. Uh, but hold it. Because I'm not going to share that. Okay. Over I share it in WhatsApp group. Ah, uh, you can share it. Okay. Via WhatsApp. Yeah. Are you going to download it and share it via WhatsApp? There is. There is. There is. Okay. Yes. Let me see. Let me check. Uh, okay, hey, congrats, excellent. Very well, Mr. Corvera, thank you. You are very hmm, empathic. You are a very <laughs> empathic partner. Excellent, great, so no problem at all. And here we go. Okay, as I was telling you, class, I'm going to share my PPT with all of you, okay? We have, ah, oh, two times shared, excellent. Okay, here we go, guys. 
Uh, it is basic module five, yes, and here. Let me see. Today is November the 1st, 2022. Tomorrow, no class. Why? Because it is a holiday in our country and in Latin America, because it is November the 2nd. Okay. Notice here that we use the ordinal numbers, if you remember, to describe the date, right? So today is November the 1st. Tomorrow, November the 2nd. We are going to take the class again on November the 3rd, the day after tomorrow. Remember, the day after tomorrow, pasado mañana, okay? So here we have in our agenda the welcoming, what I did before. Now we're going to start with introductions because I ask you if all of you were um, together in the previous level, and some of you told me that just a few, not all of you were in the same group. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about generalities of the course, and we're going to watch a video about Insafork. Maybe some of you have already watched it. We're going to be sharing the objectives, and our highlight, the main topic for today is Mark Steps in Progress. We're going to be working in our manual, I expect, in pages 9 and 10, and at the end, the wrapping up of the class. So if there are no questions uh, so far, here we go. Okay, listen, this is about me. This is a little bit about me, okay? My name is Irma Carballo, and I am an English teacher. I am also licenciada in idioma inglés. Uh, I hold a um, diplomado en docencia universitaria, and I also hold a master's degree in uh, administration of the education. I have been working for INSAFORB since 2009, but I have been working at English Corporativo or Regal International since 2018. And that is what I can tell you about myself, okay? So I am very glad to be your facilitator in this level. And all of you are welcome, okay? And here I have a reminder for you. Tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario, you know, obtener el 90% del promedio en tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran ya listas en la plataforma. Justo después de cada clase se aconseja que la vayan terminando, ¿verdad? Para que no se les acumule. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a INSA por semanalmente. La fecha límite para cada para terminar el examen intermedio es, por ejemplo, si es un lunes que, que, que se inicia, sería viernes si no hay día festivo como en esta ocasión, ¿verdad? Estamos iniciando día martes, entonces para ustedes sería ahí tipo día lunes, porque como vamos a tener el día festivo, pero si lo pueden hacer en the weekend, better. Y también las fechas para el examen final. El último día de clase ya tiene que estar la plataforma completa, ¿verdad? El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma y no se usa material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Eh, vean, ¿por qué les digo que para el último día de clase ya debe estar todo terminado en las plataformas? ¿Por qué? Muchas veces en nuestro país, bueno, a cada momento hay mmm, problemas con la energía eléctrica, con la conexión a internet, ¿sí o no? Entonces es mejor llevar las cosas a término porque si no ese día a la medianoche automáticamente el curso se archiva y después van a tener problemas ustedes porque a esa hora antes de la medianoche yo necesito actualizar los últimos que queden. Es decir, porque exactamente a la medianoche, a las 12 en punto, se cierra y se archiva todo. Y van a tener ustedes, no sé si ya alguien ha tenido esa situación, que estar comunicándose con la administración. ¿Por qué? Porque al final todos quieren diploma. Ese es el objetivo. But remember, there are two ways. Recuerden, hay dos formas. Una es el desempeño académico, que es a lo que les estoy haciendo referencia, ¿sí? 
sus tareas, sus evaluaciones y el desempeño que tienen en la clase, en los breakout rooms, active participation. Y por otro lado está la asistencia. Recuerden, la plataforma comienza a tomar la asistencia desde el segundo, desde el instante que ingresamos hasta que terminamos, ¿sí? Y hay una cantidad límite de horas que tienen que estar ustedes presentes. Lo ideal es el 100%. Yo no estoy autorizada para darle permiso a nadie, ni tampoco la administración. Uh -uh. No. Lo que hacen ellos es que reportan. Usted reporta, justifica su ausencia, pero no le estamos dando permiso. Al final, INSAFOR decidirá. ¿sí? Entonces, son dos situaciones. Porque luego dicen, y mi diploma, y mi diploma, y me completan todo en la plataforma, 100%. Pero, ¿qué sucede? No cumplieron con la asistencia. Entonces, yo a veces los encuentro ahí algunos marcados, Dios mío, ¿por qué? Ah, por la asistencia, no cumplieron con la asistencia, en so sorry, aunque hayan completado todo, porque dicen, ah, no, pero yo voy a completar, completarle todo a la teacher, lo completan, pero no cumplen con la asistencia, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Algún comentario? No, teacher, todo está claro. Perfecto, además no es primera vez que están ustedes, ¿verdad? En, en este programa. Correcto. Okay, so we know about responsibilities. And let's continue. Here we go. And then we have the requirements. El nombre completo al conectarse en la plataforma. Recuerden que si por casualidad se conectan de otro dispositivo, eh, entonces a veces aparece el, la identificación del teléfono o de la tablet, ¿sí? Si no es al que ustedes, con el que usted se conecta siempre. Entonces, tratemos siempre de recordar, de escribir nombre y apellido porque la plataforma ese es el que registra el nombre que aparece ahí. Y si decimos un, por ejemplo, un iPhone 16, ¿verdad? ¿Quién es iPhone 16? No aparece registrado. Entonces, se pierde la asistencia. Esos minutos se pierden, ¿sí? Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión es lo recomendable. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, a menos que eh, se requiera que se eh, active el micrófono, porque recuerden que todo se escucha. Y en ocasiones algunos van en su ruta de regreso a casa y van en transporte público y se escucha la música y todo lo que la gente va diciendo y queda grabado. Recuerden que todo esto lo supervisa en esa forma, ¿verdad? En sus auditorías. Y se les pide active participation in the main session room and also in the breakout rooms, ¿ok? And over here, what I was telling you about, the attendance, 100% of the classes, you need to uh, complete 120 minutes uh, every day because that is what uh, the class is. And I'm going to take the attendance two times, approximately the first time at 8.20 and approximately at 9.40 the second time. And here is very important to have the camera on when you listen to your name, okay? At the end, I'm going to stay with one of you in order to have one-on-one -on -one session for 10 minutes in order to reinforce something or clarify something that you probably have not so clear, or maybe we're going to practice pronunciation and reading, okay? But the idea is to take advantage of those 10 minutes. And here, in Zoom, the mute or silence button, okay, unless you have to participate. The camera on, you have available the chat via WhatsApp. And also over here in this, uh, in this uh, platform in Zoom. In the breakout rooms, you have to participate actively, but also you have the ask for help bottom activated and uh, available for you. In case that I am monitoring another group, you click on that button. If you need my help, and I'm going to move to your breakout room, okay? And always, but always, please, respect for others, okay? No shouting. No vamos a gritar. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos audífonos, ¿verdad? Y, y lastima porque llega directamente al oído. 
but we're going to be very respectful, cooperative, and empathic with the other partners, okay? And here we have our, our week number one from uh, November the 1st to November the 8th. Section two or week number two from November the 9th to November 15th. Week number three from November 16th to November 22nd. And the fourth week from November 23rd to November 29th is going to be our last day in classes. Yeah? Is it clear? Yes? Yes, it's clear. Okay, great. Excellent. Remember that by November the 9th, the homeworks in week one must be done. If it is before, better for you. And here we have the objectives, okay? For today, I need one of you to help me reading the general objective, the specific objective, and the class objective. Who's going to be that one? Who is going to be that super champion to be helping the teacher to read the general objective, specific objective, and class objective? Only one. It can be a he or a she, no problem. One volunteer, raise your hand. Hey, you are in level five. You need to practice. Come on, Tony. Okay, don't be shy. Remember, you are the star now. <laughs> okay, is it going to be Tony or Atilio? Because I he, I see uh, our Luis Miguel, I don't know. I see the microphones open. Okay. You okay. need to read them, okay? Yeah, please. General objective. Participants will develop competence that will allow that will allow them to mark steps in a progress and ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are meet face to face and telephone conversation with other in work situations. Excellent. My turn. A specific objective. Participants will be available to mark a step in progress. And now the class objective, who is good? Class objective at the end of the class, Okay, thank you so much. No. Great. <laughs> microphones, please. Okay, microphones. Thank you. Okay, this is what I was telling you about. So here in the general objective, as your classmates read perfectly, Participants, it means all of you, will develop competencies that will allow you as participants to mark steps in a progress and ask and answer questions to check that. Maintenance procedures are met in face-to-face -face and telephone conversations with others in work situations. The specific objective for today is that all of you as participants will be able to mark steps in progress. The class objective, at the end of the class, all of you as participants will be able to mark steps in progress using sequence words that we're going to be practicing today, okay? So that is the big deal. And right now I'm going to share with you the video that InstaFORP demands from the facilitators to share with you. Okay, I need you to pay close attention because at the end of the video, I'm going to be asking you about the video, some questions. Here we go. It is in Spanish. So you may express your ideas in Spanish later on. Okay, here.
Do you listen to the audio? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Let's go for it. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaforp ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insaport, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Ok, class. Ready? 
to answer the questions? Yes? Yes. Okay, here we go. Maybe one of you remember, tal vez alguien recuerda los cursos que se ofrecen en esa forma, los mencionados en el, en el video. Mm. Para el área. Perdón, dele, dele. Eh, inglés para el trabajo uh -huh. y capacitación para las pymes, recuerdo. Ok, muy bien, pero hay más. ¿Quién más recuerda? Para el área técnica, para competencias gerenciales, para ingreso para el trabajo y para CMC, que era competencias de las micro y pequeñas empresas. Ok, y se ofrecen también cursos cerrados. Cursos abiertos y cursos cerrados. Correcto. ¿Y el que estamos teniendo en este momento? ¿Cursos? Inglés. Inglés para el trabajo. Sí, pero como como Line. el online. Oh. Muy bien. Y recuerden que no solamente es inglés para el trabajo de los cursos online. Es parte de, ¿verdad? Porque hay otros cursos más. Pero miren como que hablaron algo sobre las mujeres, ¿verdad? ¿Sí o no? ¿Qué dijeron sobre las mujeres? ¿Se recuerdan? Equidad. 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 Ajá. ¿Y, y, ¿Y qué hicieron ellos para, para tratar eso de, de la situación no sexista? Incorporándolas a, a, a... Incorporándolas a distintos cursos que potencialmente se piensa que son solo para hombres. Ok, esa es una muy buena estrategia que sí desarrollaron, pero hubo alguien que mencionó manual, manuales, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿qué, ¿qué nos puede decir Carla sobre los manuales? Eh, ah, no recuerdo yo, pero este, ah. hablaba de que habían creado un manual junto con, a la par de las leyes de equidad de género. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Como para, para poder este, integrar a las mujeres en, en tal vez en como actividades que normalmente piensan que son solo para hombres. Uh -huh, muy bien, correcto. Y el lenguaje no sexista, ¿verdad? E inclusivo, ¿sí? Porque pues sí, cada quien es diferente y tenemos que respetar, ¿de acuerdo? Las creencias y los valores de cada persona. Muy bien. Sí. Entonces, en pocas palabras, en Zaporp tiene muchísimas oportunidades para toda la población salvadoreña, ¿sí? No solamente para jóvenes, sino para personas de todas las edades, ¿de acuerdo? Y ustedes son un grupo beneficiado de, esa, de esas oportunidades con este programa de inglés para el trabajo, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, ok, correcto. Congratulations, hey, you are super champions, you paid attention. Ok, and now it is... Uh, 829, I think I'm going to call your names in order to take your first attendance. Is that okay? Voy a tomar la primera asistencia. Okay? Porque ahora sí hay un poquito más. And here we go. Uh, let's see. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Thank you. Brandon Josué Zavala. Present. Thank you, Mr. Zavala. Claudia María Guerrero. Present. Great. Concepción Marina Alvarado. Present. Thank you, Miss. Darío Antonio Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Irma Estefani Carranza. Absent. Josué Neftalí García. Present. Okay. okay, you're here. So sorry, Joshua. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Corvera. Uh, Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez. Marianne. Scarlett, Miss Scarlett Rodriguez. Okay, right now she's not available. 
Marina Yancy Sandoval. Miss Sandoval Bonilla, Marina present, Yancy. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisette Hernández. Mirna. Present. Thank you, Miss. Present. Eh, okay, thank you, Miss Mirna. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Sorry, Nelly Lilibet. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Nelly. Nelly Lilibet absent. Okay. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Norma Patricia, viuda de Arrué. Norma Patricia, absent. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present ah, teacher. Okay, thank you. Sandra Patricia Peraza. Eh, present, pero es Sandra Leticia. Really. Pues Vamos no a verificar. <risa> Permítanme. Por acá lo tengo. Sandra Leticia, you are right. I didn't see correctly. Thank you for telling me. But in the okay. list, it's okay, okay? Leticia, okay. okay? No hay problema en la lista, está bien. Thank you for telling me, I'm correcting. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, good night. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Recordemos que siempre Sorry, usamos la palabra good evening desde ahí por las tres y media, cuatro de la tarde. No importa si llegamos a las 10 u 11 de la noche a un lugar, vamos a decir good evening. A las 11 y media, 11.59, llega a un lugar, dice good evening. We say good, good night only to say goodbye, ¿ok? Solo para despedirnos decimos good night or when you go to bed, good night. It means that I don't see you until tomorrow or another day. And now, let's get started. Thank you so much, okay. class, for being here. Yes, Miss Carla. No, no mencionó. <laughs> Mia Celia. <laughs> en serio. Permítame, probablemente están más abajo en la lista. Voy a verificar. Sí, están más abajo. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez, ¿verdad? Sí, fíjese, fíjese que mmm, ustedes vienen de otro grupo. Uh, sí. Pero estamos los mismos del otro grupo casi. Es que sí, es que fíjese que acá ustedes dos me aparecen como número 12 y número 13 después del número 20, cuando se acaba la lista, porque me aparecen 18. <risa> Pero como número 12 y número 13 en la lista original, tengo Nelly Lilibet y Nelson. Y no, número 12, Mirna Lisette y número 13, Nelly Lilibet. Lo voy a, la voy a agregar acá. Ok, Carla Sofía. Gracias por decirme, Carla Sofía. Anne Cecilia Cristina. Celia. Ok, Celia, Cristina, sí, Soto. Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien, gracias. Sí, es que tengo acá dos espacios y luego las han agregado a ustedes. Entonces, sí, es 18 nada más. Ok, pero están por acá Carla, Miss Carla, uh, Celia, Cristina. Celia. Yes, Creo. you're here. No y, a, y, miren, y miren, y ustedes van a decir, uy, no, qué barbaridad. Y la teacher hablando de inclusión y no nos mencionó, but it wasn't my fault. Ok. Pero lo que pasa es que no puedo compartirles la lista ahí, porque, ¿verdad? Ok, but thank you. 
And right now we're going to get started guys with the manual, okay? So here we go. Okay. Right here, we are at page 29. And we have here two questions in exercise number one. What do you know about manufacturing? How does your company manufacture? I don't know if in your companies, depending on the nature of your company, do they manufacture something or if they don't manufacture something because they um, sell services. I don't know, okay? Now tell me, what does your company manufacture over here? Raise your hand if in your company uh, there is something that is manufactured. En la compañía de alguno de los presentes crean algo como manufactura. Mm. Podría ser ropa, ropa interior, uh, sombreros, I don't know. No, in my company, no. No. In my company, no, but I think we construct uh, networks. Ah, oh, okay. So you kind of design, design networks, yeah? It is a different type of manufacturing process, but there is a process, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Excellent. And somebody else? No. Okay. In, Tell in me your company, professions or occupations. Yeah. Okay, Pablo? In the company I work, a manufacturing capacitor. Mm. Capacitor. Training. Hey, um, you you train people. Oh. And, uh, it's it's an electronic company. Eh, eh, Assembly. No, uh, manufacturamos el, elementos electrónicos. Oh, Son capacitores okay. electrónicos. Ok, great, excellent. Amazing. Ok, class, but listen, in everything there is a process. When you um, drive your car, you follow a process, yes or no? When yes. you cook something, you follow a process, a step. When you brush your teeth, you need to follow some steps, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so let's begin with this. What are the steps that we follow when we brush our teeth? What do we do first? The first step, el primer paso cuando vamos a cepillarnos los dientes, ¿cuál es? Take the brush. The toothbrush. Brush. Okay. The toothbrush, and after that, you put, the put, you put on the toothbrush uh, some toothpaste. toothpaste, yes, and then, or after that, then to brush the, the teeth. Okay, you start to brush your teeth, but you need also before you start brushing your teeth, you get uh, some water, yes or no? Yes. In a cup or in a glass, yes? In yes. order to continue, okay? Then you brush your teeth, and after that, you use the water to wash, yeah? Your mouth, yes or no? Yes. Okay, and when you have washed your mouth, what else do you wash? Do you wash the, the, the brush teeth? Yes. Uh -huh, yes. And when you have uh, washed the brush teeth, what do you do? Wash the hand. You wash your hands. And after that, do you leave the, 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 
the brush teeth on the sink? No. Uh huh. You keep it. Uh huh. Put the brush on the cabinet. In the cabinet, yeah. You keep it, okay? In the cabinet. So there is a process for everything. Yes, that is what we're going to study today. But we're going to focus on the manufacturing process in the different companies. And here we go. At page number nine, we have this conversation. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation. Later on, you are going to practice this conversation with a partner. The characters are two, Anna and Mark, and also Diane, Diana. Three people, three characters. Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely, absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate, chocolate. Second, we add a thing, a thing. First, we add a thick, a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin, thick and thin, okay? We add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We considered those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Now, I want you to pay attention to these words. First, second, finally. In the correct order, they are describing a process. Actually, it's Mark, the one who is describing the process, okay? And right now, I would like to have three people in order to practice this conversation as a model for the class. I need three volunteers to practice this conversation right now. Me. Mm -hmm. Okay, Darío, you're going to be Mark. Me. Okay, sir, you're going to read Anna, and I need one more to read Diane. Me, teacher. Okay, miss, you're going to read Diane. Let's begin to the count of three. One, two, three. Who's going to read Anna? Who is Anna? Luis. You. Darío. Darío, you Mark. Are, okay. Okay, Darío is Mark, Luis, uh, Miguel, you read Anna this time, okay? Okay. Okay, let's begin. Mark, would you explain, explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almond. Sound great. And then? Finally, we are ginger. But what about people who are di diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount on sugar is too high. We consider it to customer and we have a other product. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Anna? Great, let's take a look. There is something that I need you to write in your manual or to add. Mark, would you explain to us, when we say explain us is incorrect, you have to say, explain to us what the manufacturing process is. Podrías explicarnos si no le escribimos tú y no nos va a explicar a nosotros, ¿verdad? Va a explicar el proceso de manufactura. 
Mark, would you like, would, would you, Mark, would you explain to us? ¿Podrías explicar a nosotros? ¿Podrías explicarnos a nosotros el, cuál es el proceso de manufactura? Ok, absolutely, ya. Yeah. Ok, so I need you to add this word to between explain and us. Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Okay, very well done. Class, what you are going to do right now is this. You are going to practice in the breakout rooms this conversation. But listen, we have three characters, three personajes. You are going to switch roles in such a way that all of you are going to read what Anna says, what Mark says, and what Diane says. So all of you are going to read three times because I need you to practice pronunciation and intonation, okay? And you are going to read as it is, or you may change these names by your names in order to feel more comfortable, okay? Para que se sientan más cómodos, you switch you change these names by your real names, but then the process is the same. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and when you finish practicing, okay, this conversation, I'm going to appreciate that you provide an answer for question one and question two, okay? And right now, because now you have the manual, page number nine, there's no excuse because you have it via WhatsApp. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. And here, let's verify. Excellent. Oh, I know. <clears throat> okay. I have one, two, three, four five groups of three participants and there is one group of two participants because you are 18 okay actually you are 17 so that is why so we move to the breakout rooms right now i'm going to send you the invitation okay here we go join to your groups please if you are so nice, I sent you the invitation. Go to your groups. In group number one, I need Josue Garcia, Carla Sofia, and Tony Elias. In group number two, Marina Jansi and Pablo Alberto, please go to your groups. In group number three, I need Sandra Leticia Peraza. And in group number four, I need Marianne Scarlett. In group number six, I need Mirna Lisette, please. Mirna Lisette, join your groups. Marlene Scarlett. Okay. Join your groups later on. Ahorita lo comparto en un segundo. Bye. Hello class, I'm sorry for the interruption. In this group, it is supposed to be Celia Cristina. Yes. Yes. And, okay. Uh, Wendy Maricela is here and also Marianne Scarlett, but she didn't join. Why? I don't know. So you have here Luis Miguel Corvera. He's going to be practicing with you. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Very well. No le entendí. Se mira mi pantalla. Yes, sí. sir. Sí, Okay. She I be Anna. Okay. Hey, Anna. No, ma'am. 
yo mejor voy a hacer más porque fue ya participé con Ana. Ok. I am Ana and Wendy well, Diana. Yeah. Ok. Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Ok. Soy Ana, entonces. Okay. Yes. Eh, ah, no, permítame. Eh, quiero ver. Diana. Diana. Ajá. Diana, ok. Ajá. Vale. Eh, usted sería Diana. Eh, sería eh, ella y yo. Entonces, finally, with a, a ginger. Empecemos porque acaba de entrar. Ok, está bien. Mark, could you explain just what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our two seller. First, we add a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slight almond. Second, green. And then, one egg with a uh, ginger. Hello. Diabetic. 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 Oh. 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 Diabetic. That is American Diabetic. pronunciation. That is American pronunciation. But Diabetic. Diabetic. Diabetic or no. diabetic? Diabetic is American pronunciation. Okay. The, the England pronunciation is diabetic. British, yeah. <laughs> but diabetic. like with uh, German uh, stress. Okay. Okay, continue practicing, please. Okay. Now. Mm. I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have the candy bar and bubbly June with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Okay, okay. cambiamos. Ajá, yo inicio con Ana. Luego siempre eh, usted, usted hoy es sería, Mark hoy y no voy a ser Diana. Hoy sería. Chocolate second. Think layer of smile almost. Ana. ¿Quién va? Pues yo. Consider those customers and we have other products. We have candy bar, a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Now. Excellent. Uh, part number three. What are the words Mark used to indicate the parts of manufacturing process. Um, first, mm -hmm. second, finally, um, only no. that, I think. Yes, no more. What are the negative sides of Mark's product? They contain uh, uh, the amount of sugar is too high. Yes. The diabetic can't eat it. Okay. Okay. Any... Oh, teacher. And now, did you switch the roles three times? Yes, we did. Now you have to answer the questions. We already did it. 
Oh, great, amazing, wow. <laughs> you astonished me and I was like, what? Okay, <laughs> because in the other groups, they are still, okay, uh, working. Claudia is, Claudia is. Uh, okay, I... May, I, may I see your, your answers? Do you have it in the in the manual? Yeah, uh, we we only discussed it. Ah, okay. So here we go. If I ask you guys, okay, here and here, if I ask you the first question, what are the words Mark used to indicate the parts of the manufacturing process? Your answer should be first. Second, finally. Excellent, great. What are the negative sides of Mark's product? Um, mm -hmm. The amount of sugar. Okay, is great. Too high. The amount of sugar is too high, and diabetic people cannot eat, eat it. it. Yeah. Okay, great, excellent. Okay, overwhelming. And now I think uh, maybe we're going to return to the main session room because later on you have to work a lot. In the okay. next step, creating, you're going to put into practice creativity. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Let's get back. Let's return. There are two groups still working, but they are coming back. Diabetic. Okay, class, here we go. Now that you have answered the questions and you have practiced actively in the breakout rooms, we have two questions. And... Here we go, okay? Let's see, Miss Carla Sofia, ask question number one to one of your classmates. Say, uh, what are the words, uh, the words Mark used to indicate the parts of the manufacturing process? The question goes to, and you mentioned the name of the classmate, okay? Era first, second, and finally. No, you have to ask the question to another oh, partner. Um, oh, <laughs> when you say the question goes to, you are saying la pregunta es para, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Tony? Okay, Tony. Tony, mm -hmm. are you available? To answer question number one. Okay, he's not available, Carla. Yes, 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 yes. The, the okay. microphone is off. Okay, me. okay. Uh, read okay. the question, Miss Carla. Uh, Carla. What are what are the words Mark used to indicate the parts of the manufactured process? Um, Mark uses three words. First, second, and finally. Is that okay? Yes, correct answer. First, second, and finally. Now, question number two. 
uh, Tony, Juan Antonio, ask question number two to another classmate. Okay. What are the negative side of Mark's product? The question is from Brandon. Hello, are you available? No. So ask the question to someone else, Juan Antonio. Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, can you need to repeat the answer? The question, excuse me? Question number two. Okay. What, are the, uh -huh. what are the negative side of Mark's products? The question is for Claudia Guerrero. Okay, Miss Guerrero. Uh, the negative side of Mark's product is the amount of sugar is too high. Okay. Only that. And diabetic people can eat it. Okay, excellent. Because you need it to, because sides are sides, okay? So it is plural. Very well done, congratulations. Excellent performance. And now here, I want you to notice this because now it is the construction part. You're going to construct your learning. Words to mark steps in a process. As you will mention class, first, Second, third, then, later, after, right, right after, next, finally. Examples. Number one, first, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Second, separately combine flour, baking powder, and salt. Third, combine both mixtures with milk. Later, chill for one hour. After, roll the mixture to about a quart inch, inch thick, inch thick. Next, cut cookies. Finally, bake for 10 minutes. Here, we have an example of how to use these words to mark the steps in a process, yeah? And here we have the practice. We are at page 10. Read the description on the top selling product of a chocolate factory in El Salvador. Below, you will find the steps to produce this product. You are going to compare with a classmate. We have dark chocolate espresso made with our smooth dark chocolate and chunks of our organic espresso beans. Get your chocolate and coffee fix all at once with this delicious treat, two dollars. So here you have only the first step. You need to read carefully and discuss in your groups and which is step number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It can be that number one is over here, but maybe number two is on this other side, yeah? You need to read them carefully and make a decision because later on you're going to present it here in the main session room and we are going to determine, okay? Are the instructions okay. clear? Yes? Okay, yes. but you need to analyze carefully, okay? Don't go just at once. No se vayan así con la primera, no. Let's analyze. And everybody participating, please, okay? Because in some groups, there were some people who didn't join. I don't know why, but you need to participate actively. So we're going to recreate again the groups. Because <laughs> it is... El problema es que no sabemos. No saben qué. El problema es que no sabemos cómo se hace. ¿Cómo se hace <laughs> qué no cosa? El el ah. Que vamos a... <laughs> No, but okay, hold it. But the thing here is that is why you need to read carefully. Okay, because okay. we condense fresh whole milk. 
Uh, we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Uh, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. The cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Union or Santa Ana. Obviously, this is not step number two, right? Because it is almost at the end. We cook these ingredients together. The milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavor. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pink mill. Mill uh, Molino, right? Chocolate mm -hmm. undergoes the final special production stages, refining, counting, and tempering. So that's what why is crumbs. The, the crumbs through a pink mill. Um, eh, pasamos a, a the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pink mill. Uh, Pasan las piezas como para molerlas, porque como um, de chocolate, ¿verdad? Crumbs es piezas. No, eh, sí, pero sería como, como pedazos de chocolate, sí. Ah, uh, okay. Porque okay. lo va a pasar a un molino uh, para que queden bien desechitos, okay. moliditos, sí. Con migas. Okay. Ajá. Migas, ah, ok. Sí, ajá, así es, porque no va a ser la grande. Por eso le decía piezas, porque no, el, no son los grandes como pedazos que decimos en Spanish, right? Okay. Okay. ok. Vamos a hacer chocolate entonces. Yes, because later you have to create a product. Ok. So this is the first practice. Because I, as I told you, later you're going to put into practice your creativity and you're going to create your, your learning. Y van a crear su, su aprendizaje acá. Mm -hmm. But based on something that you already know. Okay. Y, miren, ya se me desapareció alguien, ya ven. But oh, you, yeah. uh, no, but uh, this is a real life, okay? No, es que lo que pasa, Ticha, que a veces nos saca Zoom y cuando vamos a los, a los grupos también nos saca. Pero yo los, los reenvío y los eh, muevo a veces. Por ejemplo, en la práctica anterior teníamos seis equipos, solo dejé cinco. Y los estuve moviendo y no, no se integraron. Ok, okay. sí, porque a mí me había dejado a mí solo. Sí, no, no estaba solo, sino que no se unieron quienes estaban con usted. Entonces, por eso lo, lo reasigné, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok, entonces por eso lo voy a recrear para que hayan más participantes. Por Black, ma, eh, Miguel. Ah, ah, es que dicen, dicen porque soy negro. Uh, <laughs> I know. Don't say that. Yeah. Remember, the purpose of, <laughs> of is a form equality. No problem, ok. No, miren, ah, la verdad okay. es que, fíjense, no debemos tener temor porque el idioma cada vez con más vocabulario y en muchas ocasiones no es necesario traducir, sino la idea. Por eso el proceso en nuestra mente, ¿sí? Porque si nos ponemos a traducir literalmente, en muchas ocasiones no le vamos a encontrar sentido. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Entonces en ese entender acabamos. Además, no podemos, you cannot be transferring literally from English to Spanish or from Spanish to English. Porque si no estaríamos hablando español en inglés. Y también estaríamos hablando inglés en español si queremos traducirlo literal. Ok. So here we go. I sent you the invitation. Please join your groups. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Marianne? Marianne Scarlett, could you please go to group number two? Marina Jansi. Hola, Marina. Hello, Marina. 
Marianne Scarlett, in group number two, your classmates are waiting for you. Marina, la voy a asignar a un equipo. ¿Ya sí? Sí. Ok, la voy a asignar al equipo número dos. En este momento le envío la invitación, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. No, mire, es que le iba, a una, le, iba, le iba a comentar. Sí. No sé por qué, pero desde el módulo pasado, cuando yo trato de entrar a las salas pequeñas, me saca de la reunión. Fíjese que eso me comentaban unos compañeros, pero trate de ingresar y yo la voy a estar monitoreando para, para asignarla nuevamente. Por ejemplo, ahí ya le envié la invitación. Eso le iba a decir, de... si me vuelve a sacar y después me vuelve a ver Sí, aquí, yo ¿sí? siempre la asigno, la reasigno, ¿ok? okay Usted va a ser al grupo donde yo siempre le mando la invitación, ¿de acuerdo? Bueno, bueno. Ok, trate Gracias. de decirse. Ok, my pleasure. Thank you for telling me. Gracias por decirme. Ok. Ok. Marianne, are you here? Marian, hello, Marian. Okay, so okay, class in this group, you are Ma Claudia Guerrero. Concepción Marina en Marina Yancy. Yes? Yes. Yes. Ok, very well. ¿Dónde está? That means evaporates to make real chocolate fronts. No, no, pues no. Sería. We condense. French cool meal? No. Or we cook this ah, in the uh -huh. Condensamos la leche. La leche mm -hmm. entera. Después la leche evaporada hace los como los trocitos de cho to make milk chocolate from milk evaporated. Uh -huh. It, next we cook the ingredients together. Espérame. Sería dos. Luego, eh, number three. El, el three. Number three, at the chocolate factory, we passed. Ay, no logro verlo porque yo creo que el penúltimo sería el tres. Ya en la, en la fábrica de chocolate pasamos las prompts. Esto. Podría Ajá. ser el Sí. Ajá, eso sería. Luego. The number four. Number four. El, el de arriba. We mix the crumbs mm -hmm. with oriki coffee beans. pero no sería antes hacer la crema. ¿Dónde conseguimos los picolitos de de cocoa? En la primera dice we process the quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa más. Uh -huh. Ah... I think number two is not number two. Sí, estoy Probably, viendo que el número uh -huh. tres sería el número mm -hmm. dos. Ajá, porque dice, at the chocolate factory we pass the crumbs. Throw it, o sea, vamos a moler lo que ya compramos de los. De los. Mm -hmm. Es cierto. Ah, ¿Verdad? Ok, y de ahí sería eh, la número abajo del uno donde dice, we produce a rich cream chocolate liquid. Okay. Este puede ser un rico crema de chocolate líquido. 
Combinamos. First, combining both. Suka con esa, sí. No lo entendí, compañeros. Ok, eh, number, number two is the cocoa más. Goes straight to the factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. No, no, solo hay que colocarle el número aquí en el, en el recuadro que está a la izquierda. Ajá. Okay, let's see. We have number one. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Okay. And according to you, class, which is number two? In the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. Okay. You say, this is your opinion, okay? That this is number two. And which two are to the Condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. This one is number three for you. Yes? Yes. Yes. So let's read. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. The cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. We add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. <laughs> um, For me, is the cocoa mass goes straight into the factory. This is number two. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, continue, continue. Number three, we add sugar to the contents. Number four. We condense fresh gold milk. This is number four. We condense. This is number four. Yes, we condense. Okay. And number five, we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Okay, and number six. Ahí sí ya me perdí, compañeros. Okay, listen to this. Read the description of the top selling product of a chocolate factory in El Salvador. Below you will find the steps to produce this product. Compare with a classmate. Dark chocolate espresso. This is the product. Made with our smooth dark chocolate and chunks 
of our organic espresso beans. Get your chocolate and coffee fix all at once with this delicious treat, $2. So the process to get the dark chocolate espresso is, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. And after that, El proceso para lograr este chocolate es lo que estamos buscando, los pasos para lograr este producto. Sí. Uh -huh. El primero es este. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa más. Pero para llegar a esto, ¿qué se tiene que hacer? Tener un proceso. Y, correcto. Entonces, ¿cuál sería ese proceso? El step number two. El paso número dos, ¿cuál sería? Why No sé, bueno, pienso yo que sería White Products are Rich Grainy Chocolate Liquid. Pero es que tienen que tomar en cuenta, miren, no han considerado ninguno de estos ah, que están acá. Ajá, entonces tienen que considerar tanto los de la derecha como los de la izquierda. Uh -huh. Mezclarlos. Porque Acaba desde el number one to number ten. Son diez pasos. ¿Sí? Uh, the chocolate factory will pass the crumbs out of a meal. Okay. We have number one. We, pro, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Now yes. number two. Number two. Number two. The cocoa um, Uh, five. This should be number two. Yes. In your opinion. Yes. Okay, what about the others? What do the others think? Entonces, esto es lo que tienen que discutir. ¿Verdad? ¿Cuál es el siguiente proceso, el siguiente paso para lograr esto? Pero tienen que leer los 10 elementos que están acá. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. okay. okay double read it. Leanlo nuevamente y discútanlo, pero participen los tres, ¿verdad? Ok, Brandon and Nelson. Ya, okay. yeah, because okay. she's going to help you. Ok. Thank you. Yes. Ok, my Thank pleasure. You. I need to help others. Bye. Yes. Luego considero que con de, we condense fresh whole milk. Nosotros condensamos la leche fresca uh -huh. y agregamos a la leche algo de la masa. Uh, with some of the cocoa. Uh, to the, we are sugar. Uh, we are sugar. Milk. Y la condensed milk va aquí. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we know the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. No, este ya va siendo como los grumitos. Entonces, la cocinamos primero y después ¿Eh? lo <laughs> ingredients together. Uh, es que yo, yo creía. Lo más lo que vamos a hacer es hacer mal la receta y no va a quedar chuco el volado este. <risa> va a quedar una plasta nada más sin sabor. Pero ¿por qué lo va a hacer después? ¿Por qué los mete al molino? Lo que no entiendo. Es que ese ya sería como el antepenúltimo paso. Creo que este es We Produce a Rich Cream. Después, no, sería así. 
Y así. Yo pensé que a ti le Ay, sí, chef. We finish. Okay, we're going to double check because in the other groups they are. Maybe because there are more participants, right? And you see. So okay. let me see. We produce top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. We condense fresh whole milk. We add sugar to the aha. Uh -huh, because almost all of them had gone to uh we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. The cocoa mass goes only because of the phrase cocoa mass. They think that number 10 should be number two. Mm -hmm. And that is the final product when you deliver it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. We condense fresh whole milk. La leche fresca entera. Uh, okay. Number three. We add sugar to the condensed milk with the sum of the cocoa mass. We cook uh, the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. Uh, number five, we cook these ingredients together. Number six, we mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flavoring. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. Uh, probably there is one situation over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have number three. We add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Mm -hmm. And then you have... Because here I see a discrepancy. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. But if we have in number six, we mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flavoring. This should be the other way around. Okay. Because first you have at the chocolate factory, we pass the, cr the crumbs through a pin. Cuando ya lo mm -hmm. tienen en polvo, ¿verdad? Las migas de chocolate o los mm -hmm. pedacitos de chocolate. Entonces, we mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans. Ahí hacen esa mezcla. Okay. Instead That's what I think. Or, yeah, or maybe. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Cuando, fíjense bien, así como lo han puesto ustedes. First, you have the chocolate crumbs with uh, the crumbs with cocoa liquor. Le agregan todo esto y luego lo pasan mm -hmm. al molino. ¿Sí? De acuerdo yes. como lo han puesto ustedes. Así es la idea. Y no tiene más sentido la otra. ¿Sería entonces cuál? Eh, seis y siete están invertidos. Ajá, I would say that, mm -hmm. yes. Porque el cuando ya, siete, cuando ya, yes, cuando yes, ya has molido el, 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 los chocolate crumbs, los, las migas de chocolate, entonces le agrega el liquor, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think so. And okay. then we have number eight. We produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Aha, uh -huh, because you have the powder of the chocolate crumbs, yeah? And you add yes. the liquor and coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flavoring. And then you get, we produce a rich cream chocolate liquid. Number nine, chocolate undergoes the final special production stages refining. Okay, mm -hmm. and number 10, the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Unión en Santa Ana. Sí, porque acá ya tiene la, la, la mezcla, ¿verdad? La masa mm -hmm. del chocolate que es enviada a las fábricas de La Unión en Santa Ana y ahí ya ellos lo vuelven líquido. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no es líquido que se va a la fábrica, se va como masa y luego ellos lo diluyen. I think so. Yes. Yes. That's what I think. Okay, yes. you are ready. <gasps> Amazing girls. The superpower girls are here. <laughs> that is my logic, okay? 
but in the other groups they are having a headache, believe me. Okay, so um, I would advise you to choose one representative in order to present your work in the main session room, okay? Can we and you are, the three? Yes, and you are going to share the screen, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, so okay. you decide who's going to present step one, two, three, and four, probably four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. nine, ten. Okay, mm -hmm. that could be okay. one idea. Okay. okay, okay, discuss that because in about two minutes we're going to get started. Okay, 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 okay. very well. Primero, ya se, se... we have a big problem here, teacher. Yes. We don't have any idea about the produce. <laughs> the production of chocolate. Okay, but yeah. you did your best effort, and that is how we construct our learning. Así es como construimos nuestro aprendizaje. Okay. Yeah. No, don't be concerned. Yo solo les dije que yo me. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo me acuerdo que que agarraban el cacao ya tostado, lo estaban moliendo el cielo, <laughs> y estaban las <laughs> Those years, okay. Okay, no problem. So we're going to discuss later on, okay? Because um, you have different perspective because this is not your specialization, right? Okay. So we're practicing the steps. So thank you. Uh, okay. You're done. Okay. In one minute, ah, you have to decide if you want to participate, okay? Uh, presenting your, your ideas, okay? And you have to okay. choose one participant or two in order to present for the class, okay? Okay. okay. No, <laughs> no, you decide. <laughs> Democratically, you decide, <laughs> okay? My Whole milk. We add sugar. We add sugar to contents milk with some of the cocoa mass. Teria Prima. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí. ¿Les parece? Sí, sí. Vaya. Hoy sería a las seis. No sé qué dice el compañero. Sí. Vaya. Las seis sería. Number six. Digo que la seis sería we we cook these ingredients together. Mm -hmm. La seis. Donde habla de agregarle el azúcar a la leche. Yeah. Uh -huh. we co we cook this ingredients together. No sé qué piensa. Um, Porque son los ingredientes que lleva el producto. Le leo algo que encontré en internet. Le leo. Dice, los granos de cacao limpios y tostados se muelen hasta conseguir una pasta densa. Uh -huh. Después la pasta de cacao se mezcla con el azúcar, manteca de cacao, leche, almendra, según el tipo de chocolate que quiera hacer. Después se mezcla con... Ah, para que haya una pasta uniforme. Y después ya tendrían el chocolate para ir moldeando las piezasitas. Eso. Number 10, the cocoa must go straight to the factory in La Unión or Santa Ana. Okay. Teacher. Yes, miss. What say, what say, number mm -hmm. nine? The word chocolate. Country. Chocolate undergoes in the final special production stages, refining, coaching, and tempering. Ah, es que sería como crunching. Yo creo que hay error ahí. Sería crunching. Ajá, cuando se vuelve crocante, pues. Ajá. Uh -huh. Crunching. 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 Es ya, que refinado, conchado y templado, vea. 
Conchi. Ajá. Sí, porque fino es alta categoría. Let me verify if there is some similarities. So, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, you're going to be group number one. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, because believe me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Es que es como, como, sí, um, crujiente, tostadito, ¿ya? Mm -hmm. Pero okay. sí. ese sería el coaching. Mm -hmm. Coaching. Mm -hmm. Crujiente. Ok, here we go. Thank you, thank you for being here. No nos logramos poner de acuerdo y nos ha salido una horchata. Lo mismo hicimos nosotros, horchata con sabor a chocolate. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go, but we are going to have uh, one presentation, okay? And you decide if you agree or if you would change something. But before we present that uh, activity, I'm going to call your names for your second attendance. Here we go. Atilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Brandon. Josué. Present. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Maria Guerrero. Present teacher. Thank you. Concepción Marina. Concepción Marina Alvarado. Where are you? Ah, okay, say hello, because, okay, I didn't listen. I don't know if the other partners listen to her, okay, because I said I, I saw that name. Uh, Darío, Antonio. Present. Thank you, sir. Irma Stephanie is absent. Josué Neftali. Present. Thank you, sir. Juan Antonio, here. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Great. Marianne Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett, ah, she says she's a listener. So she only listens. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you, miss. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you, Miss Mirna. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Absent. Nelly Lilibet. Absent. Nelson Orlando. Nelson Orlando. Present. Present. Thank you so much. Norma, Norma Patricia is absent. Pablo Adalberto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Sandra. Miss Sandra Peraza. Present. Sandra Leticia Peraza. Yes, Sandra Leticia. Thank you. 
Miss Wendy. Present. Wendy Marisela. Miss Carla. Present. Thank you so much, Miss Carla Sofia, Miss Sophie. Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Did I, did I mention all your names? Ah. Les mencioné a todos, jóvenes. Yes? Okay, great. Now it is time to listen to the presenters. Okay, class, now we're going to listen to Miss Claudia Guerrero's group. Okay, they are going to share their screen and all the participants are going to present. Be our guests. Okay, number one, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce cocoa mass. Number two, we condense fresh whole milk. Number three, we add sugar to condense milk with some of the cocoa mass. Number four, the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. Number five, we cook these ingredients together. Six, at the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a meal. Seven, we mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Number eight, we produce a red cream chocolate liquid. Number, number nine, Chocolate undergoes the final special production style refining, refining, crunching, and tempering. Number 10, the cocoa must go straight to the factory in La Union of Santa Ana. The microphone. Your mic. Hola. Excellent. Congratulations. You did a great job. Okay, leave it like that. So we have as number one, you have as an introduction, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Then they say, hmm, in order to get this, we condense fresh whole milk. After that, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. After the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. Later, we cook these ingredients together. After, at the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pink meal. Later, we mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Later, we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. After that, the chocolate undergoes the final special production stages, refining, crunching, and tempering. At the end, the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Union or Santa Ana, because this is uh, sent as a mass in the, uh, in the different places. They are uh, liquid to the, to the mass in order to get the dark chocolate express. And that's it. Okay, do you have any comment or any other idea about this? Help us, illustrate us. Hello, do you agree, partially agree or disagree? Do you agree with this process, partially agree or disagree? <clears throat> because it is organic, okay? Okay, class, if there are no comments and it means that we agree, 
we move to your turn. Now it is the time to produce <laughs> you. <laughs> no, but listen. I, I, no, but listen, listen, listen to this. You're not going to do this. No. Let's read the instructions. Choose a product you know about. Fíjense bien, van a seleccionar en equipo un producto sobre el cual ustedes sepan. And mark the steps of the manufacturing process. Y van a marcar el proceso de su manufactura, pero de un producto que ustedes sepan su elaboración, su manufactura. That is why I was asking you at the beginning about the process to brush your teeth because we do it and you know the process. The only thing is that we never think unless you are teaching your little children the process in order to start brushing their teeth. Yes or no? Nosotros sabemos que todo en la vida lleva un proceso, pero no nos detenemos a pensarlo porque lo hacemos automáticamente. ¿Ya? For example, when you are going to log in into this class, you need a process. Para ingresar a esta clase hay un proceso a seguir, ¿sí o no? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you do first, second, third, later, after? And finally, ok, para todo hay un proceso. Entonces ahora en equipos, you choose a product you know about. Seleccionan un producto común del que ustedes sepan. And mark the steps of the manufacturing process. Y marcan el proceso como se eh, realiza manufactura. No tienen que ser necesariamente 10 pasos. Maybe five, six, I don't know, ok, depending on the nature of your, pro, your product. ¿Es that ok? Pero algo que ustedes sepan. If you want to share with the class how to make a horchata, you do it. No problem. Ok. Thank you for sharing, Miss Guerrero, your, your screen. Coffee with me. Acabamos de hacer horchata. Coffee with me. <laughs> Ok, pero recuerden, if you are going to talk about horchata, uh, you may say you buy the horchata powder or are you going to <laughs> describe the process to get the horchata powder? Yeah? No. Ok, so something that you, <laughs> that you know, ok? Uh, now we're going to get back to the uh, different breakout rooms and at least you create, okay? And later you're going to present what you have done and we continue in the next class. No problem, okay? Here we go. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. At least decide which product you're going to start describing. Mariana Scarlett and Marina, I need you in group number two. Please join your groups. Unanse a sus equipos, señoritas. Marina Jansi and Miss Marianne Scarlett. Okay, girls, listen. In this team, Mariana Scarlett and Marina Jansi are supposed to be with you, but okay. they were in the main session room. I don't know if they are having problems or what. So my question is, would you like to stay here or would you like me to send you to other groups? Yeah, okay. You are okay? Yes. Okay, okay great. Continue. Thank you. See you. Okay. Bye. Process, process. Pancake process. Vamos a ponerle ahorita. Déjenme compartirles. Ahí voy. Vamos a hacer pancakes. Mm -hmm. 
Pero antes de eso hay que poner a calentar el sartén. Pero algo así, un proceso parecido a eso. Yeah, similar, playing a trick. Oh my God, I discovered you. I got you, shame on you. But you have to say first, second, third, then, later, after, after that. Okay, those are the words that you need to use when you present it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there's no problem. No, because no, no. step one, step two, step three, no. Okay. Okay. No, so you have to the... replace at least that. Okay, no problem. No, no, it's, it's, only, it's only for one idea. Okay, yes. Excellent idea. See you. Bye. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> bye bye. Yes, yes. Okay. Sí. sí. First, the beans are cool, cooking. Okay. Yes. Yo, o jamón. Compañeros. Sí, pollo. Pollo. Ah, entonces ya no va a ser de jamón y queso, sino que va a ser de pollo. De pollo. ¿Qué opinan? Pasta Chicken. de pollo. Pasta de pollo. Ajá. Tercero. Third. Third. Ok, the third I, step. Sorry. <laughs> the third step. Ok, no problem. Estamos aprendiendo, teacher. Yes, that ¿Sí? is the idea, ok. Very well. Continue. Sí, sí compañero. ¿En qué paso vamos? Eh, tú. Sí, porque sigo poniendo esta. Put the pancake powder in a bowl. In a bowl. Luego, este, después viene. Ah, chica, acuérdate que me equivoqué. Put the pancake power in a bowl. Add, Después, add the milk. Add, add the one, milk. Cup, one cup of milk. Okay. Four step. Eh, I, I, one, I, 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 Add one egg. Add one well, ingredients to dry ingredients. Me mató, como me dijo. Voy. Se lo voy a buscar en el chat. Deme un segundo. Okay. Okay, listen guys, you don't have to get so so um you know in troubles with this first step. Try to use the words that we are using in the manual. First, second, third, later, after, after that, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you are describing here, but the idea is that you also use other words to mark the steps, not only step one, step two. But that is okay. I am not telling you that it is incorrect. But the idea is to increase your vocabulary, the incremental vocabulary. Okay. Okay. And you say, "I teach you." Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, one, uh, uh, the one on the computer. It's our ads. The border. Oh, ¿cómo sería? We roast. We roast the peanuts. Ajá, peanuts. Uh, second, we clean. Clean. Uh -huh. Clean, ajá, we clean. Mm. We clean the beans peanuts. or peanuts. In the brain. Uh, second, uh, th no, the third sería mm -hmm. este lo molemos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. A peel mint. We peel mint. Uh, mm. 
Luego, ¿qué hacen, Carlos? Hola. Le luego. agregamos, luego ¿Qué? le agregamos la mantequilla, ¿verdad? No, este... A, a... Y eso sería todo. Tenemos un delicioso We have a delicious sandwich. Is it chicken or jam? It's chicken. Chicken, chicken sandwich. Okay. Un delicious. Un delicious. Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Now you, you are entrepreneurs. Ahora ya son emprendedores. Yes. <laughs> to sell. Okay, let's return to the main session room because it is the time, okay? Teacher, yo lo voy a decir, mire. Process for a ham sandwich. Okay. No, a chicken sandwich. A chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. Okay. Fine. Corrijo. We take two slices of bread. We add, ma we add a corny mayonnaise to taste. We have complete size on chicken pasta. Uh, number three, two, two tomato slices, then um, tomato slices, tomato slices and lettuce. Lettuce, lechuga, como se dice? Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Lettuce, leaf. Leaves. Mm -hmm. Finally, place the second mm -hmm. slice of bread. Bread, bread. Uh, es el número 3. Uh -huh. uh, finish already. We have a delicious sandwich. Finally, we have a delicious chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Yes. That's finish. it. Very I well. Think Congratulations. Think. Excellent. Let's return to the main session room. Very okay. well. Teacher, no Hello. me levanté sala de grupos pequeños. No, yes. No, 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 uh, no I said you. la aplicación. Uh, Zoom, really, it is very strange. You know what might work for you? Uninstall it and install it again. Tal vez si la desinstala la aplicación de su dispositivo y la instala nuevamente, le funciona mejor. Ok. Ok, sí, eso puede, puede suceder. Ok, Miss, para que sí se pueda integrar a los diferentes equipos. Ok. Ok, very well. Ok, listen, class. In some groups, they finish. In some others, they didn't. So, we are going to continue with the presentation of these little projects the day after tomorrow. Why? Because tomorrow is a holiday. Yeah. Tomorrow we celebrate in Latin America, and especially in El Salvador, the Day of the Dead, yeah? El Día de los Difuntos. So tomorrow, no classes. And because of the time, we're going to present your different projects the day after tomorrow. But congratulations, you were really inspired. And um, listen, remember that at the beginning, I told you that I'm going to be requesting from one of you every day after class to stay with me for about eight or nine or 10 minutes in order to reinforce maybe pronunciation, vocabulary, any grammar structure or something in order to improve your English language. And today I'm going to ask Miss Wendy Maricela to stay with me, please, uh, after class. Could you do it, Miss Wendy? Maricela, se puede quedar conmigo después de la clase, Miss Wendy? Okay, thank you so much. Sí. Listen to me, class. Aha, Miss Celia Cristina. Aha, I got you. Uh -huh. I took a picture of you. I took a picture of you. Let me photo. Yeah. I, I need a question. How yes. do you say colocar la flores en la tumba? Ah, put the flowers over the, over the, 
pero es que en el cementerio cuando ya está enterrado, ¿verdad? Over the grief, the grief, ¿ya? Yeah. Thank you. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. <laughs> Uh, we can, we yes. can hear you. Nos quedamos sin maestra. Microphone teacher. Y hoy sí me escuchan. Hoy sí. Yes, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Que no haya excusa. Hoy ya no. With the, with the, with the sound, no. Simon, you. With the sound of the computer. I have to congratulate you because you were very positive in the process and that is the attitude in order to improve your speaking skills and your writing skills, okay? Don't block your mind. No matter if we are mistaken, but that is the way we learn. No importa si nos equivocamos en la forma en la que aprendemos, okay? So have a good night, happy sleep. See you the day after tomorrow. Enjoy your holiday. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Pronunciation, okay? Vamos okay. a practicar un poquito la pronunciación. So I'm okay. going to share with you my screen. screen. Here. I read once, you listen, and later we're going to switch. Yo leo una vez, usted escucha, y luego vamos a intercambiar roles, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Mark. Would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. The stress goes at the beginning. La fuerza de voz va al principio de esta palabra. Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First. Acá la I suena como que fuera una E. Suave. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Chocolate, no es chocolate, no, chocolate, chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about, what about, this tea sounds like an R. What about, esta te suena como una R, but what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar, zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Now, you read Anna, and I'm going to read Mark and Diana, okay? You begin, okay. Wendy. He said, Mark, what do you expect to do with what the manufacturing process Okay, repeat after me. Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Mark, you explain to us that the manufacturing process is. Okay, esta U y S es como esta U, olvídese, es como que fuera una A suavecita, as. as Mark, as. You explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Uh, Mark, 
were you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. Absol absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add we we adding layer. We okay. add okay, hold it. First, we add a thick, thick gruesa, a thick layer of chocolate. Um, first, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thick layer of sliced almond. Continue. Uh, sounds great and then finally we add ginger but what about a people who, who are a diabetic say sufficient can they they I eat I'm not going to lie the amount of sugar is too high we consider that customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubbly boom. Why zero sugar content? Right. Great, let's take a look. Okay, <clears throat> repeat after me. First. First. Thick layer. Thick layer. Thin layer. Thin layer. Sliced almonds. Sliced almonds. Sliced almonds. Sliced almonds. Great. Great. Ginger. Ginger. Diabetic. Diabetic. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Punta t-shirt. Yeah, bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Bubble gum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wits. Wits. Ah. Great. 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 Mm -hmm. right. And here, as. as. Okay. Now okay. repeat after me. Repeat after me. Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. This is how a mayor of top seller. No, this is how. This is how we make. We make our top seller. Our top seller. Ah. First. First. We add. We add a thick layer. A thick layer of chocolate. A chocolate. Second, second, we add, we add a thin layer, a thin layer of a sliced almonds. Of a sliced almonds. Sounds great. Sounds great. And then, and then, finally, finally, we add a ginger. We add a ginger. But what about people? But what people? But what about people? But what about people? No. But what about? But what about people? People who are diabetic. Who are who are diabetic? Diabetic. Diabetic. Can they eat it? Can they eat it? Ah, okay. I'm not going to lie. 
I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar. The amount of sugar. Is too high. Is too high. We considered. We consider those customers. Those customer. And we have. And we have. Other products. Other products. We have a candy bar. We have a candy bar. And a bubble gum. And a bubble gum. With zero sugar content. With zero sugar content. Great. All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. Now repeat after me. What are the words? What are the words? Mark used. Mark used. To indicate. To indicate. The parts. The parts. Of the manufacturing process. Of the manufacturing process. What are the negative sides? What are the negative sides? Of a Mark's product. Of Mark's product. Okay. Here, repeat after me. First. Third. Second. Second. Third. Third. Then. Then. Later. Later. After. After. Right after. Right after. Next. Uh, right after. Next. 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 Finally. Finally. Okay, repeat after me. First, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Fish, sugar. Fish no. Combine. Combine. Margarine. Margarine. Sugar. Sugar. Two eggs. Two eggs. And vanilla. And vanilla. Second. Second. Separately. Separate. Se separately. Separately. Combine. Combine. Flour. Flour. Baking powder. Baking powder. And salt. And salt. Third. Third. Combine. Combine. Both. Both. Mixtures. Mixture. With milk. With milk. Later. Later. Chill for one hour. Chill for one hour. After. After. Roll the mixture. Roll the mixture. To about. To about. A quart inch. A quart inch. Thick. Thick. Next. Next. Cut cookies. Cut cookies. Finally. Finally. Bake. Bake. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you very much, Wendy. Now, steps in order to present your chicken sandwich for the day after tomorrow. Yes, you <laughs> delicious, delicious thank chicken you. sandwich. Okay, miss, thank you so very much. Have a good night. Enjoy your holiday and see you on Thursday, okay? Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. The same. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.